This is a very good report and a strong report, and so it needs to be followed with strong actions. This report highlights that our approach so far has failed to seriously address the human rights crisis in Turkey that is becoming extremely dire, alongside the erosion of democracy and the rule of law. The Turkish authorities have constantly disregarded the rulings by the European Court of Human Rights. We were less than one month ago in this parliament discussing the concerns we have on the aggravated life sentence handed to Osman Kavala in 2022. The treatment of migrants at the border in the country is a disgrace for EU because we continue to subcontract how we deal with the situation. We still consider them as a real partner and we act as thought. We believe that there is a shared mutual respect for human rights and there's not. And also, discrimination and criminalization of Kurds in Turkey is not met with enough scrutiny on our part and in general by international stakeholders. Generalized discrimination of minorities continues while the European Commission continues to engage in high-level dialogues. Of course, it is a step in the right direction that the EU-Turkey Joint Parliamentary Committee took place earlier this year. But this report shows that we urgently need a much more severe attitude that can no longer be based on mutual trust.